Haja. Sajili wapiga kura utaendelea kama kawaida hadi pale mahakama kuu ya Eldoret itakapoamua kesi iliyoko mbele yake. Hii ni baada ya jaji Eric Ogola kutupilia mbali ombi la tume huru ya uchaguzi na mipaka IBC ila kutaka koti sitishe shughuli hiyo iliyokuwa imepangwa kumalizika tarehe mbili mwezi huu. By both parties that the application before the court is very serious both in terms of finances to be incurred if the voter registration continues and also in terms of the content in relation to the public wakati huo huo jaji ogola meionya vikali IBC dhidi ya kukaidi maagizo ya mahakama IBC cannot be in the forefront of disobeying court orders Gawakili wa IBC Kangu Mwangi alisisitiza kuwa usajili wa wapiga kura ulikuwa ukiendelea. Jaji Ogola alimwarifu kuwa mahakama inafahamu yanayoendelea katika vituo vya usajili. A court of law also lives in society. When a court orders makes an order the court also goes home and looks at television when you have senior members of the first respondent coming on stage and saying that they have they have disobeyed court order what do you expect IBC lijitetea kuwa haina pesa kugaramia kuendelea kwa usajili wa piga kura wapya Siku ya Jumatatu mtetezi wa haki za binadamu alienda mahakamani kutaka muda usajili wa piga kura uongezwe siku tisini lakini jaji Ogola alitoa agizo shughuli hiyo iendelee hadi tarehe tisa mwezi huu utakaposikizwa pande husika za kesi hiyo na kuamua Therefore it seems to me that the best option is to allow both parties to be substantively heard on the application before any decision can be made I therefore allow the Mr. Labasanga's application for adjournment and accordingly the application will be heard tomorrow physically in court. Hata hivyo IBC imefika mahakamani leo kupinga agizo hilo lakini haikufua dafu. Kesi sasa imepangwa kusikizwa kesho kuanzia saa 5 na nusu asubuhi. Angela Cherur, K24 TV, Nairobi.